Good evening, all, and uh, thank you very much for tuning into All India Runners Motivation uh, Channel, which brings out stories of runners from India uh, and champions from India. People have won medals. Uh, it gives me great pleasure and privilege to introduce today's guest. He is a legend uh, in sprint, uh, and he is a legend in 100 meters, 200 meters, and 400 meters. He has represented India in many uh, Asian uh, in Asian Games and also in many international games. He was the last Indian male athlete to win a gold medal in 200 meters and a silver medal uh, in 100 meters. This feat was not achieved uh, after his achievement in 1978. Uh, it gives me great pride and uh, privilege to introduce today's guest. Uh, he is none other than, uh, other than Mr. Gyana Shekran Ramaswamy. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Rajesh. My name is Gyana Shekran, not Gyana Shekran. Okay. You are, you are pronouncing like North Indians. You say <laughs> You can pronounce well. You are a Kerala man. You can pronounce Jnana Sekaran. <laughs> okay, Jnana Sekaran. Yeah, Jnana Sekaran. Okay. Yes, yes. I hope it, it got corrected now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Good so evening, thank you Rajesh. Very much, thank you very much for coming in. It gives me great pride to, uh, to interview you. And I really okay. thank you for your time for coming in. So, you. Uh, so you are in Chennai. So how is the weather in Chennai? It is a little bit hard. Just now it is uh, drizzling. And okay. 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 I mean, Kerala, Chennai, almost same weather. We got three climates hot, hotter, and hottest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't no, have no, any no, no, no winter. No winter. No winter. Sometimes. Hot, hotter, hottest. Yes, yes. You're right. When it it's rains, we are happy. Not like Karnataka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I was doing uh, research about you, sir, and you know, um, uh, and when I actually started, uh, started looking at your name and trying to find out uh, things about you, uh, there is very much, uh, very little being mentioned, uh, you know, uh, about your childhood and about your journey as an athlete. So if you can just tell the audience a bit about your childhood, because you come from a famous village, which is uh, famous for a lot of sports people. Uh, you are there, Charles Boromio sir is there. So uh, please tell us about this village where you're from, uh, Devakote. And uh, you know what is so different out there, which actually brings in so many champions. See, Raji, you had a good question. See, uh, I am not from actually, uh, say from Devagote. I am just uh, from a village nearby Karikudu. I was born and brought up there. This my native town is Palayur, Kandanur Palayur. It is okay. It is just ten kilometers away from Karikudu. Uh, I studied there. Uh, the schooling and all I did there, and only college I came to Devagotai, Sri Sabarnamale College, Devagotai, where the Charles Bromio studied the school, Gibruda High School. But yes. he, he, he didn't study in the college, but he studied uh, somewhere in Gujarat, uh, yes. college and all. He, college he did there, but schooling he did there in the Devagotai, Gibruda High School. So, in the, that the surrounding area, as you mentioned, it is produced a lot of. Uh, Champions, especially in athletics. Uh, athletics, myself and uh, you know Charles Bromio and one more Rajan, Abraham Rajan, who won the gold medal in Asian Championship in 800 meters at uh, Tokyo in 1981. He is. He also studied in my same school, what where I studied. Uh, so this there were the this surroundings. They have produced a lot of sports person uh, other than these athletes, and uh, we have Raman Vijayan. You know the footballer, yeah. And uh, on cyclist, two cyclists, they have produced one year, Vasudevan K N Gopal. Uh, both of them have represented country in the same 78 Banga Asian Games. They came. They are, they, they, they are all close to uh, my native place. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this area, the thing is, the area which lacking lot of facilities. That is that is, that is the thing. We we came up because of our education and hard work. And the proper guidance from our coach. Uh, my, uh, I got motivated because of my father. I like to say something about my father. Sure. Uh, yeah. See, my father studied in the same school where I studied. He studied he, in 1946 that uh, Sitarachi Memorial High School was uh, opened, uh, inaugurated. Uh, same year, I mean, 11th standard, my Father joined that school. 
SLC. Those days it is called the SSLC. <clears throat> yeah. So my father became a champion, a senior school champion, the first year itself, 1946. Okay. So where the school, they what they used to do, that, 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 that there will be two boards, name boards. One is the man who comes first in the uh, academic year and in SSLC, they will write the name. The other side, whoever become national uh, state, I mean, uh, school champion, senior champion, the other side. So you can find you can find my father name the first place, 1946. Okay. okay. So that is a, my father is then was an inspiration. People used to tell me, see, my your father used to run like a lightning, lightning runner he is, because I, I didn't know that. Because people, a lot of people used to tell me, then I got motivated. The, the none other than my father. So I, whenever I cross, uh, I mean classroom, we used to look at the board, that uh, sports board. So it's Ramaswamy. My, my father name is Ramaswamy. It 46. So yes, for Ramaswamy, it, it, it is written. So I got motivated. Then why not we also do nothing else? Because at that time I didn't know any national champion even. Nobody. Uh, I never come across <clears throat> because that time this this is a village. Even hardly you used to read the newspapers. Well, mostly not 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 even English newspaper. No sports okay. coverage. No TV. No TV except radio. Nothing else was there. <clears throat> so then I got motivated. Then I started my own training. Really, I'm telling you, blindly, blind training. It, it, nobody was there to guide me. See, there is a small pond near my house. So I used to around that pond, just just close to my house. So keep on running, no no sprinting, no, no taking, no no training method, nothing. I, I used to run continuously. That is only it's, it's only uh, you know interest and this uh, what do you call um, passionate. It's a passionate. Okay. It just become passionate. So uh, I decided to do something. Uh, to replace my father. Okay. So what did your uh, father say when you were running? Pardon? When you were running in the pond, what what, what did your what was your parents' reaction? Ah, uh, my my the, the, my parents used to encourage me. They don't stop anywhere. They didn't stop from going to any any sports, even district level, state level. They used to allow me. My father used to give me some tips. Hey, you you don't run the empty stomach. You done at least you take some egg in the morning and run. My father also didn't know what is raining. So I also yeah. kept just like that running continuous, like continuous run, like a, a slow marathon. I used to okay. run. Nothing else. I had only small, I mean, old spikes. Somebody gave me that time. Some old spikes. I used to run with that. Because that time under who will wear the spikes? Only fat, but only they, were, they used to run. So finally, uh, I got that sprint quality. You know, jeans will be there. No, my father had a jeans. Sprint jeans. So the same jeans I had. We have four four brothers. So only I had my father's jean. You know, sprint quality, you need some jean. Otherwise, you can't become a sprinter. Sprinters okay. are born. People say but sprinters are born, not made. So likewise, I thought, okay, my I, I just found out, oh, my father's jean is with me. So I can develop my quality by proper training, I thought. So till the school, then I became a champion, fortunately or unfortunately. <laughs> uh, when I study in the SSLC, I became a champion, senior champion. I won the 100, 200 meters and one more long jump. So three events I won. So my name was written on the board on the oh, 25th okay. year, 25th year of my school. Very good. It was, it was, it was during Silver Jubilee year. It was. Very good. First, first name my father, 1946. And I won, I became a uh, uh, school champion the 25th year, Silver Jubilee. We celebrated the Silver Jubilee. My name was written there. So I was so happy to see that in 25th year. Uh, so How was then, your father's reaction uh, when, he, when the name very was Very happy. There. He, was, he, he came, he, he was watching my running. Very good. Uh, during the sports, the annual sports meet. He was very happy. Um, uh, then, then, then only see after becoming a champion only. Then I failed. Essentially, what happened? I failed in, in SSLC. So I had no other goal. Uh, 
I didn't want to appear in the private uh, exam this September, October, and all. I didn't want. I wanted to join some school where uh, sports is given uh, importance. So I that one Tekur, Sri Vishala Chikala Sala High School at Tekur. It is close by Tripatur. Tripatur or Konamai Road. That is that belongs to Karmuthi Tyagarajan Chetia. Uh, this they have a lot of institution. Tyagaraja, Tyagaraja uh, Polytechnic, Tyagaraja Engineering College, Tyagaraja College. There are a lot of institution there, and high school also they have. So my father told me, okay, uh, you go and join there. Uh, hostel only because it is quite far from a native place. So uh, I had to stay in the hostel. Uh, thing is, the staying in the hostel is the big advantage is you have more time to train. Okay. The hostel, okay. Uh, anytime you can train. Whenever you get bored, the ground very big ground close to the hostel. Anytime you can go and train. But fortunately, I had a very good physical director there. His name is Mr. Mandri. Fortunately, he unfortunately he died just two months back. Sorry, okay. one year one year back he has passed away. Uh, he is very a diplomatic person, and he himself was a very good football player and athlete. So uh, that time only when I was when I joined Tekura High School only I came to know that lot of things, uh, especially this conditioning. I didn't know what is conditioning exercise when I was in my hometown in the village. So he started a lot of sports person in Tekura High School in the hostel. Lot of sports because they gave more importance to sports people. Okay. Ne next deep day, deep, only we have two. Uh, competitors in, in the district uh, between Deeproda High School, Devagota, and uh, this week High School, Tekur. The two schools uh, always have a competition in the district inter school competition. Okay. Always competition in every in every discipline. So that 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 means the bigger high school that is. Uh, so I used to play all um, football, volleyball, basketball, because we have only just 50 players. Within that, we have to manage the, all, all the games. So that helped me. In fact, see, football is a kind of exercise. Um, you, 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 you develop uh, other, uh, other qualities. And the basketball it develops the other qualities. And volleyball, see, you have each and every discipline their own qualities. But with okay. that quality is not required for an athlete to become a good athlete. That those qualities are required. So I got, I got that opportunity by playing all the games uh, for the for the school, every uh, inter school competition or inter district, I used to play. But uh, when my physical director, my physical director used to tell me, Yana Sairan, you be careful when you play football, because you, you have a future only in athletics. This is only just like that you take it. Don't strain much. If you have injury, then your future will spoil, get spoiled. So I used to be very careful when I play football, especially other games. No problem. It's a, you know it is a violent game. You know very well, football is one of the violent games, uh, injury-prone game it is football. So I played football, but I, in fact I I I, I like football very much because okay. that area football is very familiar. The seventh tournament I used to play for the seventh tournament and all. Football is very very familiar. Even now in, in the world. The, Football is familiar next to the next only athletics, track and field. Yes. So the football is, you know, football is a natural game. You know, no, no much taking it difficulties, nothing. It's a natural game. It is not like basketball or hockey. It's yeah. a way the technicalities involved very less, very less in uh, football. And you don't so need much it, of equipment also. Uh, yes. Not much yes, equipment true. required. Yeah, not required. Not required. You are right, actually. So in the football also I used to play in the right extreme, right extreme. So only thing you have to run, you have to run and you got to cross the ball to the D, D area. So then only season I used to do I play all this game. Otherwise all the time I used to play. I mean train for only in athletics. So that is a turning point I had in Tekura High School because of Mr. Mandri. They guided me very well. I won the district. And the state level competition uh, in the Ribal Day Sports Meet. And uh, after passing out, then I came to join Devot Sri Savarana College, where I had a very good coach. Ramanathan, one district coach, was there. 
is very knowledgeable coach. He has produced a number of athletes. He is an athletic. He is a state, um, state government. I mean, uh, uh, sports authority, state sports authority of India coach. Uh, he, he, he belongs to Devagote. He the nearby village. He belongs to Devagote. So he, he he trained me. He he gave me even he considered more on me. So of course we had about twenty five to thirty athletes in the track and field. But he used to concentrate more on me because I he he knows that I have some talent. I uh, so he he tuned he tuned up me. So what were the I things he did for you actually at that point of time when it comes to training? What were the See, things which he, from a school he came to college where it really helped you? And you were a first real coach, uh, you know. Uh, so, Mr. Ramnathan. So, what yes. are the things he taught you at that time, point of time? See, um, when I when I studied in the school, the Kure school, I learned only just fifty percent of the training. What is what? They, even the technical it is in general. Uh, training method, I think only because he is after all he is was only physical director. He was not a qualified coach. So whatever he knows, whatever he had experience, he used to teach me. So I I, I didn't find any fault with him because he was not that time uh, qualified coach. So when I came to uh, college only, I learned hundred percent. I okay. learned hundred percent from that coach. So what is what you know? What is uh, sprint? What is speed endurance? What is strength? What is strength and endurance? In all, I didn't know in the school. I didn't know anything. I didn't know. Okay. Because after um, through him only, Sir Ramnath only, I came to know all this. Then I studied slowly. Uh, then uh, in the first year itself, I became university champion, hundred meters. Okay. Okay. Madurai University, Madurai University. Because the, the 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 thing is the the college we don't have any ground. Okay. Because the college was start, started. Just two years before I could join, okay. so no ground, no ground for ground facilities. So we used to come only for this to this deep water high school ground. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, they have full fledged uh, facilities for uh, all the games they have because they very, very big institution. So we used to come and train there, and the Ramnathan used to come there, and uh, starting. See, uh, I never had the starting practice when I was in the school. Only. Only during this uh, competition period, just two to three start, he used to teach me. But I came to know what he starts only when I joined the college. Starts, starting block and all we used to have. Okay. Uh, so he is very much particular about the start, Mr. Ramanathan. He used to teach me all 30 meters, 40 meters, 60 meters, and all he used to give. That 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 helped me a lot. Okay. To perform well in the inter-school, inter-college competition and uh, other 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 competitions. Good. That's uh, I mean it's wonderful to hear about your childhood and uh, you know some similarities between you and Charles Bromio sir also footballers. He also loved to play football. Uh, you know, <laughs> yes, yes, and yes. his coach also told him that uh, you know running you are good at it. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, if you want to do more of running, we can't afford to take this. Yeah, he went to Gujarat at that time. Also, he was playing football, but then uh, his coach said, "You know, you are better off in running." Uh, yes, so yes, yes. again, injury was again another reason why he said, true, true. "Yeah, yeah." He also said that football, the life is small, and when you start running, you know, it can be having a. Not only that, that is a team game. You, you, yeah, can't, exactly. you can't take the credit. Ah, uh, yeah, that is this individual. It is individual. Yeah. He, so he, it's. He, he, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I'm sure he had that foresight uh, to tell you that uh, you know, uh, you do not concentrate too much on football uh, and do very well on uh, you know on, in in athletics. But um, uh, I'm sure your place also had a lot of footballers because football is sounds like a very common thing out here in your place in Devakote. Yes, yes, Devakote, yeah, Devakote and surrounding area, they were no only football, nothing else. Only okay. in school they play. Only the school play. Uh, basketball, volleyball, only for inter, inter school competition. Uh, otherwise, outside, the people used to play only football, nothing else. They don't know other than football. They don't okay. know. No I, cricket only, I think no cricket, no chance. No <laughs> way. Uh, no way. Even, no way. Even now it's the same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Even now okay. it, it remains it remains same. It remains okay. Same. Now That's football wonderful. has become very popular. Yes. That's good. So, so do you remember your first national medal? You know, when do you because you said district level? When do you, when when was the time you actually 
uh, became famous out of the state in the national level? Yeah, very good question. See, when I study in the first year, be a bachelor degree, the same college, the, I became an intervarsity champion in Bollier, under and 200 meters, okay. uh, with a new record, under and 200, the new record, I, I, I won. Then after a week, there was a national scene in national Jaipur. It was, you know, in December, January, it was very, very cold in Gwalior. I could not bear that cold. Still, I remember that cold. How would okay. we suffered? Yes. So after finishing that intervarsity, we went to Jaipur for the senior nationals men. See, first time I'm going for intervarsity, first time I went for this uh, senior nationals. First time intervarsity I won, both 100 and 200 meters with the new record. And followed by the senior nationals representing Tamil Nadu. Uh, what happened is an interesting thing, I will tell you. This 100 meters, there are the, those days there were only six lanes, no eight lanes. The, the eight lanes are uh, only half lane only it, it was introduced. Now it has become nine lanes. It is on this world class stadium and all nine lanes. It is. Okay. Those days only six lanes, six lanes. So what happened? Um, I just came third in the heats. So there are two, there were two heats, and two to select so will, will be selected in each heat and two best losers. Okay. So I came third. Then I got shocked at how I will reach a um, finals. And uh, I thought of winning this 100 meters. I came third in the heats itself. Then how to win the 100 meters? Then after uh, they said, no, no, best losers, I got selected. Okay. Two finals, two finals. So my, well, I told my coach, what coach, what is it? My coach was there, Ramanathan. Ram, Ramanathan was he, there. Okay. He, he, yes, he accompanied me to Gwalior as well as the senior nationals. Very he, was a state, he was a state team coach also. He was a totally team, team coach. But I just asked him, sir, what happened, sir? What to do? I came only there. And the finals, Yanasagaran, we don't worry about the competition. You run against the run. You did 10.7 seconds in university meet new record. You repeat the same time here. Don't bother about your competitors. You run against the time, against the watch. Then he gave me just like that, this tips. So I got in mind. Then what I did? I never thought about any other sprinters. There were so many sprinters. Even Sundara Chetty, A.P. Ramasamy, David Premnath, Aziz. Kennedy, those days, I know you must have heard them, heard of them. Yes, AP Ramaswamy, uh, definitely, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, we are all in the finalist. <laughs> yes. I, 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 I was a chota fellow at that time. I was oh, only okay. 20 years. You were the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> I was youngest because I came okay. from the college. Only I was just 20 at that time. They are people are those already, they are internationals. AP Ramaswamy, Kennedy, Aziz, they were already internationals. Yeah. I am the only who has not represented the country, first time. Yeah. So I, I, but I was very much determined to win as uh, my coach said, you run against the time, not the competitors. I, I just, I thought of that the intervarsity timing 10.7 seconds. So I ran, I came first. Okay, Can you believe me? <laughs> uh, after uh, when after was that getting selected, it was, it was 74. After getting selected from the two best losers, I came first in the 100 meters. I was really surprised. They all were appreciated. And at that time itself, I got offered from Southern Railway. Lakshmanan was there, sports officer. Even he too was there in the Jaipur. Immediately he offered. Uh, I thought, sir, uh, I, I will ask the coach. I will discuss with him and I will let you know. I come back to you, I said. Then he has agreed. Then we came back. Uh, there are a lot of welcome in my village, even okay. after winning the nationals. They, because those days only, uh, you know, a radio only, no, only radio. They came to know only through radio, not even newspaper. So they were all very happy. And uh, then I decided to join job because uh, some, that has disturbed me. You know, that job, this offer has disturbed, disturbed my training and also education. I, I was only that thinking about the job only for oh, railways, okay. railways like that, you know. It's a very big thing for me uh, because I belong to village. I got a central government job offered by railways. I, I came and told uh, 
my parents they were very happy okay we join because okay. we are all we are all farmers na no? we yeah, are all yeah. farmers no no nana nana bus from uh, got appointed in uh, said government as a state government i am the first one even in, in my village i am the first one who got appointed in southern railway in government government of india job so uh, i join i since i join in southern railway my graph went up 74 i joined railways in madurai uh, they offered me senior clerk okay i thought okay senior clerk is good directly senior clerk so i got appointed a senior clerk and uh, immediately i went to the camp that is the thing national camp but my, you asked me no yes i am good camp. i wanted to ask you about that <laughs> yes, but before yes, that yes. i just wanted to but, tell you that uh, we got uh, sunita rani ji who is also you know national champion she is listening to you moli chako is listening and we got oh, few more guests they all said uh, they are conveyed their hellos to you uh, oh you very know. good uh, so okay, yes uh, so we got a good audience uh, you know who was listening to you uh, well done, yes well let's done. talk about let's talk about a national camp uh, you know yeah. I, i mean from uh, uh, intervarsity winning the uh, winning the first medal coming first in 100 meters uh, you went to national camp in patiala most probably uh, so tell us about the camp how was it for you must have been a huge change uh, tell us about it oh huge change means what to say i can't express because language problem hindi <laughs> i didn't i didn't know a single word of hindi what, what, what to do i don't know it is it is like uh, you know uh, I, i i got confused whether i can go back to home i i thought, I thought of quitting the camp sometimes because of language then people told me no 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 i was also like that so no problem you can manage with little bit english uh, they they understand english so don't don't quit the camp at any cost so that time i had a very good coach one jagmohan singh he is no more he was very excellent excellent coach he was really he gave us lot of hard work see i never had any hard work when i was in the college so i could not manage that hard work meet out that meet out it i couldn't finish that uh, schedule workout such okay. uh, workouts very very hard but uh, the, the japan used to tell me jan sayran okay no problem i know your condition you slowly increase your load i i'm not giving you much load i'm giving a little bit of load then uh, slowly will increase the load okay sir i said okay nearly we had about two months camp so first one month went just like that then afterwards after one month i just picked up daily picked up i loved that i, I really loved i loved his training and coaching the way coaching even ap ramasamy all were there they, they they were all expert because they got trained you know they got used to be at padiala uh, earlier but my, in my case is quite different no this was my first time so ap ramasamy you know you, you know he, he knows uh, tamil very well he speaks tamil very well so he became a good friend of mine and also kennedy aziz uh, sundara city and david premnath is mostly all the sprinters are from south india and while thomas was there um, only only from south indians are there in sprint event then immediately next year next year is a very crucial year 75 75 was first asian championship at seoul your, fir- your first international medal first international yeah you are right you are right first international yeah um what what i heard is that there was there is a totten rack you can't run you can't run fast as you run in uh, uh, grass track or in the track then i thought why it is like that sol is all same uh, track only why it is different because i have not seen totten rack synthetic track anywhere even in the picture also i have not seen so people told me like that okay let us try i came first i got selected Uh, to represent the country in the asian championship along with four others even relative are also qualified uh, myself from samyo no one louis from bombay and uh, sundara sundara city four of us in relative so we went there seoul is a very huge stadium and synthetic track really i don't know what to do they how i am going to run this state the stadium and the track is synthetic track rubber track i don't have spikes i didn't have spikes for that that is separate spikes you know that synthetic track 
Yeah. Then, uh, then I reported to coach, you know, coach the one coach I forgot his name. Uh, I told him, sir, I don't have coach the, the spikes for this track. Please get me the spikes. Then he went and told the secretary. That time, when all all our Kanna was there as a federation secretary, so he used to he, he got me that spikes, tiger spikes, synthetic track spikes. That only just two days before he gave me. That spikes I got it only just two days be before the competition. Okay. So yeah, I ran there also. I I tell you, Rajesh, is quite interesting. Like see, nationals it happened in Seoul. There also in hundred meters, I came third in <laughs> heats right. and third in third in semifinals and third in finals. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> third in heats, third in semifinals and the third in finals also. I got a bronze. Fortunately, it was it, everybody got everybody got shocked. But it's the first time when Eden is getting sprinter is getting a bronze medal in hundred meters after Milka Singh. Where nobody could win the medal in the sprint even hundred meters. So the Elar Kanna, this man who gave me the spikes, were very happy. Oh, Nyan Singh, you got the medal. Thank you, thank you so much. Then uh, fortunately, we we got the medal, bronze medal in four by hundred meters relay also. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Then. Um, that time, you know, after seventy-five, what happened? There was no much competition that time. You asked me that why two years we had done well. I am coming to that point. See, seventy-six, seventy-seven, we were, had no competition at all. Seventy-seven, that was supposed to be an Asian Championship. It was supposed to be at Manila, but it was cancelled due to some reasons. I didn't know. Okay. So no competition. Seventy-six, seventy-seven. We had some small competition. One uh, pa Pakistan, we had competition. Tehran, Lahore, one, uh, Ir uh, Lahore and Iran. Uh, yeah, Iran Lahore and Iran. yeah, yeah. Just one, just internet. Just Jinnah Cup. Meet it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jinnah, Jinnah Memorial. Yeah. Just only two meets they had, so we didn't have much competition that time. So no train, no proper training. So only that uh, thing was only seventy-eight when it came. Then we started training regularly. Uh, actually, we aim for Commonwealth Games. I could not do much in the Commonwealth Games because of the climatic condition and jet lag. It was in Montreal, in Edmonton. Edmonton it was in Edmonton in '78. I could not do much. Really, I'm telling you, I felt really very sorry for that uh, because the only two days before only we landed up, we landed in uh, Montreal. It takes Sorry, a week to it, take, it, the it, it, take the take yeah, the yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, in exactly. Canada especially. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, nearly it was ten hours different. Ten hours different. Ten to twelve hours different. Uh, so when I when I, when I, when I get into the starting block, I just used to feel like sleeping because the night is right. Here it's a night. That the day 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 time. So twelve hours difference. That made me very very bad. Sleepy. So, yeah, sleepy. I I felt sleepy when when, when I was. Uh, sitting in a starting block, so I could not do much. Then I felt very sorry. I really returned with the empty-handed to India. Then followed by Asian Games. Yeah. I, I'll come good. to the Asian Games, but before that, yeah. uh, I just want same, to... same, same, same year. Yeah, so I'll come to the Asian Games because that's a very important question. But before that, I just wanted to, for the sake of the audience, because you know you were also the national sprint coach. Uh, so tell us the technicalities. Uh, you know, uh, involved uh, in 100 meters and 200 meters, and uh, because I heard what I heard from seniors, uh, especially Dizosa, sir, he said that you are uh, the way you were you run was like it, it was like smooth like butter. You know <laughs> that how your movements were hardly any uh, I mean any faltu movements or any movements where it was which would take the energy out of your body. Your your movements were so smooth. Uh, he has seen you running so. Uh, tell us about the secret of that. Why? How come it was so smooth? And tell us the audience about the technicalities involved in uh, doing 100 meters and 200 meters. I'm just going to put you in yeah. solo. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You are right, uh, Rajesh. 100 meters sprint. Uh, as I said earlier, it is it is a bond quality. Sprinters are born. So I, I'm I'm not I I am I'm not a made sprinter. So my way of uh, sprinting is a natural sprint. I didn't require any power training or strength training, anything like that. Only speed, speed, speed. Only uh, I, well, since I had a natural talent, I just developed my quality in the camp. 
uh, further so that he had helped, that he has helped me to be, to become a national champion for five years five six continuous six years and uh, you know the under meters <coughs> specialty is i my drawback is i uh, uh, my re re reaction is very slow under meters which is most which is most important for the sprinters then i developed in this this uh, jagmohan singh only he used to develop this uh, starting uh, technique so i improved that i improved upon my starting i rectified my mistake uh, through his correction so the 100 meters you know there is a, uh, scientifically speaking see the stop speed is only 20 meters how many of them know i don't know in the 100 meters it is anaerobic given 100 percent anaerobic given the stop speed comes only 60 to 80 meters, only 20 meters. Even Usain Bolt or Carl Lewis, whoever it may be. There are any sprinters that top speed is only 20 meters. First, starting to 60 meters is acceleration part. And 60 to 80 meters, it is called as top speed, maximum speed. And 80 to 100, it is a deceleration part. So top speed is only 20 meters. This is scientifically proved. One can withhold the stop speed only 20 meters, not more than that. So the acceleration part is more important than the top speed because it covers more distance, 60 meters, whereas it is it is only 20 meters. So that, that 60 meters acceleration part, I developed there only in Patiala because of Jagmohan Singh. Otherwise, I didn't know what is acceleration, what is maximum speed, what is deceleration. I didn't know that time. He explained what is it, what is the sprint rate. Then I, I, I came to understand, oh, this, these are all things involved in 100 meters without knowing all this. We, we are running just like that 100 meters. This is so much uh, technical is there in 100 meters. What about other technical elements? Long jump, wide jump and all. It's not old. running itself, they are having a technical qualities like this, technology, uh, technology. What are the other events? Technicality is much involved only in throws and jumps. Not in sprint, not in running, 100 meters to 10,000 meters. No, no technicality, no much technicality. Of course, 100 meters and adults, under 110 meters, it, it has got something because starting point is very important in 100 meters. If you just uh, lose a start, then finish. At least you can manage 100, 200 meters, even if you lose, you can catch up, you can make up. But whereas 100 meters, if you are top competition, see, uh, fortunately, I didn't have a top competition in the nationals. So even if I lose a start, if I, if I was late in start, I can pick up. Because there was no much competition. You can uh, see my pictures, the finishing pictures and all. I had no competition. I, I used to 10.4 seconds in all the national. But whereas the man who come uh, second or third, they clock only 10.6, 10, 10.7. 10, so two seconds, 0.2 seconds different. It will be nearly two meters. Two meters lead it to that. If they had a good competition, Definitely, I would have clocked before 24. I, I my, my in India, my best time is only 24. Only in the All India Inter Railway before going Asian Games, I did 10.2 seconds in Inter Railway in Delhi Northern Railway Stadium. I was a peak type at that time, 10.2 seconds. That is, you said no, the um, sub 10, sub 10, and all this not okay. We will talk later about sub 10. Yeah, that's sub 10, sub 10 seconds. That uh, the 104 is was my maximum. Uh, I mean, I mean, a standard time in India, 10.4 seconds in 10.4 seconds, 100 meters, a standard. Any time I will do, any any time. Even if you uh, wake, up, wake me up from sleeping, I will do 10.4 uh, seconds, 100 meters. Okay. Yes, yes. 10.4, 10.4 is, I, I begin, even once once day, I became fed up. What? Every time, always 10.4, 10.4. Because okay. no competition. That is the reason. That's the only reason. No competition at all. Even okay. the Ajit Sumariwala was there. And the Royal Thomas and, the, uh, and the, the, no competition at all. Even even if the, after they came also, I had never competition in 100 meters. Any tough com no com no tough competition. I I used to feel very sorry for that. See the if you want to improve the performance, you must have tough competition in all the disciplines, in all the events. Without competition, you can't do it. You can't perform well. So I didn't have that opportunity. I think. I, I didn't have much competition in 100 meters. If I had you think that would have, if, if competition was there, you would have been able to do the sub 10? 
No, no chance. Sub 10 is, Rajesh, sub 10, 100 meters, very, very difficult in India. If you, if you do sub 10, you will become, a, I mean, world class athlete. You can be in the finals in the world championship or Olympics. Even now, this Olympic, current Olympics, just, just now concluded Tokyo Olympics. Even the, the, first, the, the, the first man who won the Italian, he 9. was 9.8, 9.9 9 second. So if it is a sub 10, you could have got the medal. So sub 10 is not uh, so, uh, so easy. Because, the, you know, their Negroes, they can do. You know, no Asian, no Asian, leave the Indian. No Asian can do sub 10. Even Chinese, one Chinese fellow is doing. Uh, what is his name? I don't know. He, he, was, he was good in hurdles finance. also. 110 meters hurdles also. He was very good. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And uh, yeah. See, his sprint event, I'm telling you, this Asian people can't do anything in Olympics because they are, they are, they are structure and he's a genetic factor. You know, the sprint event is such a gen genetic factor. Only in blacks, only blacks can have that genetic factor. On the, on the gene they have for sprint, sprinting quality they have, but not Asians. Now Asians, you know, your physique itself very weak, comparatively these European and uh, Americans and Africans. We are, we are very weak physically, even Asian can, Asian I'm telling, you leave the Indian, even the whole Asian uh, sports person, they are, they are very weak, physically we are weak too, comparatively the Europeans and Americans and Africans. You have seen that, you must have seen them. Their structure and all, what kind of structure they have. So sub ten, I don't think I is not at all. But even I was sent abroad also. I don't think I could have achieved the sub ten. No, not possible. Maybe ten one, ten two. I could have done ten ten one. I could have done it. You see, reducing point one second hundred meters so difficult. Okay. See, Usha Usha lost the medal one hundredth of a second in four hundred meters. Yeah. Can 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 you imagine one uh, one ten second how to improve? One we point one second how to improve? It's very difficult, very difficult. I'm telling okay. you. So, uh, uh, do you see any current group of people who might be running uh, something close to that ten, at least in India? No, no, no. The, the, uh, recently, I because saw. Because it is still ten point two only. We haven't 10. gone. You know, you said ten point two. You ran nineteen six seventy five. <laughs> Current record is also 10.26 only, so we have not, yeah. you know. Uh, uh, yeah, one, yeah, one Punjab man. What is his name? Uh, I think uh, there are a couple of people. Sanjit Singh is there. Sanjit, uh, Sanjit, Sanjit, Sanjit Singh, Singh. and then yeah, Anil yeah. Kumar is there. Anil Kumar Prakash is there. No, uh, no. You know, so yeah, uh, among them, the Sanjit Singh is better. Okay. Uh, what, what, what I would like to advise him is, is the right time for him to take up to 400 meters. What we, what Mr. Ex, exactly what Milka Singh told me uh, in '75, I ran the national at Madras. He was he was witnessing my race in '76, 70, I think Madras. It was the uh, Open National. So after the 100 meters and 200 meters over, he just called me Milka Singh, called me out. Yana, I want to talk to you. Yes, yes. I we just came out of the stadium, and he told me, Yana, I would like to advise you something. It's the right time for you to switch over to 400 meters. I said, sir, what for? No, no, this 200 meters, it will be stagnated at one stage. Whereas we have a now basic speed. Just to develop your endurance, then you can be a good 400 meters runner. Then I said, okay, but uh, I love 100 meters. I can't live 100 meters. Without 100 meters, even I love 100 meters more than the 200 meters. Because, you know, 100 meters is a unique one. See, in the Olympics, there is no title for any other event, even, even first, even win the world medal or long jump, high jump, no title. Whereas in 100 meters, if you win the 100 meters, you will become a fastest man. That title I will miss if I, if I go to 400 meters. That uh, I don't want to miss that uh, fastest man title. That is that is a unique title. If, if I come long jump, no, nobody will say you are longest man. If I come first in high jump, nobody <laughs> will say you are highest man. Nobody yeah. will say. If you run 100 meters first, you will be the fastest man. That that, that, is, that is a unique quality that, that, that nobody will get except 100 meters. Nobody will get. Then okay. I uh, that that is the reason I said okay sir, I, like, let me think it over. And uh, actually then I didn't I didn't want I I don't I didn't want to uh, shift over to 400 meters because I I as I loved 100 meters I didn't want to live. Then I proved my 
ability in for the Asian Games, 78 Bangladesh. It was in 76, what he told, and he advised me. Let's talk about that because that is, uh, you know, and uh, uh, because so when you say that nobody can run, you know, uh, uh, close to 10 seconds in India, maybe you know, it, it does not give me much hope. Uh, of somebody coming close to your record also of two medals uh, because you won the medal in 100 meters and also in 200 meters. So let us talk about 1978 where you actually achieved this. Uh, and uh, it was a unique moment for us. Uh, and uh, being, uh, you're still the only male athlete from India to to achieve it currently. After, 19, after, after you, nobody has achieved it. So tell us about both the events, 100 and 200 meters, please. Yeah, very good. Very interesting question. <clears throat> I love this question. See, before uh, going for Asian Games, uh, nobody thought that I will win the medal. Uh, everybody was suggesting and telling that uh, you can reach only finals. I said, why Why I, reach, why I can't get medals? I asked the uh, chief called Saini, Joginder Singh, who has died recently. No, Yana, it is not possible for sprinters to get a medal in the Asian Games. I said, why? What is the reason? No, no, after Milka Singh, Flying Singh, Milka Singh, no sprinters could win the medal in Asian Games in sprint event. Sir, Milka Singh is, is 20 years over. So in, in between 20 years, no sprinters could win a medal in the Asian Games. Then I thought, why, why I can't become Milka Singh? By winning a medals in the 100 meters and 200 meters. No, no, no chance, Nyan Segal. I'm telling you, out of my experience, it is not possible. It is for you to decide uh, to run 100 meters and 200 meters. What you decide, sir? I am already qualified. I had to run. I, but uh, I was deter so determined to win the medal in the Asian Games. Uh, because, because I had a confidence that 1975 in the Asian Championship, I could uh, I, I won the bronze medal. That, that has given me a, uh, much confidence. Uh, to do better in the Asian Games because I had already 75 about three years back. I got the bronze medal in 100 meters. I told him, Sir, already I got a bronze medal in 100 meters in the Asia Championship. Then how can you say that I can't win any medal in the Asian Games? He immediately said, No, that is Asian Championship. That is Asian Championship is different from the Asian Games. For Asian Championship, no big countries will concentrate. In, in, the, in, the, in the Asian Championship, yeah, they always concentrate only on the Asian Games. So no good sprinters, good no good athletes will come for the Asian Championship. Then I thought, okay, let, maybe it, it may be true. Then I was determined. <clears throat> I was determined to do well to get the medal. But I never expected that I win the gold medal in 200 meters. I just expected some silver medals or bronze medal in 100 meters, 200 meters. So what happened? Then the Bangkok Asian Games, this was exactly our climate, our Patiala climate, this Bangkok. That has helped me a lot. It was not a chill weather or cold weather like uh, European countries where I have uh, run in the Commonwealth Games and failed miserably. But this is, uh, uh, this uh, this uh, climate and uh, weather uh, suitable to Indians. All, not only me, all in, all Indians. Uh, suitable, uh, suitable climate it was. So first day the competition was 100 meters. So I was very determined to win the medal. So as I liked, I won the silver medal in the Asian Games 100 meters. The first one was on the local man, uh, Zajur Paul Chichas from Thailand. And the third one, the Japanese are somebody. Then after winning 100 meters, medal two and, uh, silver in 100 meters, I was really very much confident that uh, I can win the 200 meters gold. Because why? I used to run 300 meters, 33.0 seconds in Patiala uh, training camp. So after Milka Singh, I was the only one who did 33 seconds in 300 meters. The Saini coach used to tell me, sir, nobody could run 300 meters 33 seconds. After Milka Singh, you are the only person who have done 33 seconds in 300 meters. So that, uh, that, that has, uh, I, I thought of it. Um, I just took it in my mind. Okay, then let us see the 200 meters. 
So immediately after winning the silver medal in the hundred meters, I gave the press meet, press people. Definitely, I will win two hundred meters gold. Hundred meter, hundred person, I will win. So fortunately, this two hundred meters was the last day of the event, last event. So the, when India, India, Pakistan was playing a final match in hockey, <coughs> so all people went there to watch the India, Pakistan final hockey match. Only few people were available. So, but uh, this stadium was full packed. The two hundred meters finals, like hundred meters. So what happened? Unfortunately, I got the first lane. Can you imagine? Two hundred meters <laughs> final. I got the first lane. There was only eight lanes. But uh, according to my heat, uh, qualifying timings, they should. I should have got at least three or fourth lane. But I got it only. I was allotted only first lane. That gave me so much. I got so much upset. But I, I, but even then I was so determined. Okay, let us run first lane or second lane. We will run against the time. That's all. So I ran comfortably. I won the two hundred meters, uh, in the Bangkok Asian Games, running in the first lane. Whereas the man who came first in hundred meters on the goal, he was sixth in the two hundred meters. The Anand Ranthambal, the earlier uh, Asian Games champion, came. Fourth or fifth in the 200 meters, and one Japanese follower I think came second and third, and this 100 meters gold medal fellow where nowhere he was sixth or seventh. I was so happy after winning gold medal in 200 meters. I broken the record uh, 20 20 years record I have broken after Milka Singh. Uh, then uh, then then after me also now now 42 years over no sprinters could win. Even a single bronze medal in 100 meters, 200 meters. It is. I. I. I am sorry to say this. See, the records are made to be broken. All the records to be should be broken then and there. Then only this the sports atmosphere. It's a healthy atmosphere. It shows it. It indicates healthy atmosphere. If it is, the, the record is broken often, it is health, sports is our sports is very healthy. I mean, in a healthy condition. Otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, if if yeah. my record my record remains for a long time, then something is wrong with our system. That's that's not I mean, correct. When, that's not good. When you when you recall about it, uh, you know, Mr. Saini sir telling you that nobody can win it. Do you think that was like something he he, uh, he did it on purpose or saying that to you just to motivate you? It is it is, it is, it is a kind of discouragement. Actually, he should have motivated me. Instead okay. of the yeah, he is a discouraged me really. really. Okay. I felt very bad then. That what did he say I, after you won the won the medal then? Well, what to say? He can't say. He congratulated me. He has lifted me after winning the two hundred meters. He just lifted me and one more one my sports officer and uh, he lifted me after as soon as I won the goal in two hundred meters. They came. He yeah. came running. He was so happy. So I didn't say anything because way to hurt somebody. Uh, okay. So I, I I didn't I didn't ask him anything because he was surprised. Everybody was surprised after winning medals in the 100 200 meters. That was really a record breaking. After Milka Singh, really I could win do something in uh, in the sprint even. I, I was really happy. Did you have a chance to speak to uh, Milka Singh sir after the uh, you know Asian Games medal wins? See. On small incident after the Commonwealth Games, during Commonwealth Games, he has criticized me a lot uh, because I could not do much. Uh, I had just very poor timing, only I clocked in the 100 meters and 200 meters. Only in the 200 meters, I qualified for second round, but openly speaking. No, I'm not hiding anything. So, I, I only thing I ran with the, this Don Quarry in 100, 200 meters, uh, qualifying around. This, my, you know, Don Quarry, you know, the way. Olympic champion, yeah. Montreal Olympic champion, 120 meters Joe from Jamaica. <clears throat> uh, so he criticized when I when I came back from Bangkok. People told me, "Sir, Mitra Singh has criticized you like anything." If he came out in the paper, present or you just uh, don't leave him. You ask him, "No, no, no. I will prove myself the Asian game. I will teach him a lesson." Then after winning the gold and Ramada, I just happened to meet him in Delhi. Yeah, no, he did very well. Okay, congratulations. He appreciated me. He congratulated me. Then, but of course, I didn't open the topic. But he has criticized me during Commonwealth Games. I never opened the 
but he, let, let him know let him know let him understand let him understand. i proved i proved myself well, what okay. uh, what is it after him i uh, only i i am the one who, i i was the one who won the gold medal in 200 meters okay nobody else so i'm sure that celebration uh, in that in the state as well as the uh, as well as your uh, village was must have been uh, how many days did it, did the celebration last how many days did the celebration and functions last for you yeah, very good very good very good see <laughs> uh, after winning the gold medal in bangkok uh, people was watching in the hearing as you said yes as i said earlier they were listening the radio radio news so uh, after winning the silver medal in 100 meters people are uh, they're excited they are expecting some gold medal for me in 200 meters so uh, uh, as i wanted i won they were surprised and when i came went to village after winning the um, after bank occasion games uh, when i landed on the platform there was a huge crowd to receive me in the village i never expected because that time there was no phone no 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 cell phone no phone nothing only letter only they did inform me letter also that uh, we are uh, we are com- we are coming to station to receive you that time so i just landed uh, there was a huge crowd and uh, there were really busting crack uh, characters and a uh, lot of this uh, you know all music set music set they were all there i okay. was very i was so thrilled really the p- village people gave me such a warm welcome i i, I never forget and also okay. earlier that, earlier to that uh, uh, from delhi we came by gt express and uh, we got down at central station that time also we didn't know people came inside so so gm has come gm has come what band was band started playing we never knew that day. i just thought i thought getting gold going down then people went luggage and all the sir gm gm you come sir we will take we will take we will take care of your luggage okay. um, you, you come sir yes gm when i get when i got out of the train there are lot of people lot of officers and press people waiting for me in the platform and in the gt express used to go only in the second platform that day especially it was diverted to the comfortable platform okay. to receive me yeah okay. then uh, i was surprised my gm was there sambu murthy i remember his name he was very happy myself my angel mary of course you know we, yeah. we, we, we traveled together he won the she won the two silver medals in asian games yes uh, long jump and heptathlon so we got there from railway southern railway we got up from the train and a lot of uh, people our employees employees came to receive all officers all officers all officers of the railway and the uh, band was there and the press lot of press people i was thrilled really when i got in when i got down in delhi nobody was to receive us really okay. it was very pathetic it was really pathetic and only thing at that time madhu dandavare was uh, railway minister he has invited Uh, for breakfast next day i went just attended uh, not much gathering very very simple ceremony i can i won't say it is a ceremony it's only get together all in, all indian condition i mean those who are from railways they yeah. we met, met we met him and the principal presented me some award cash award 2000 rupees or 3000 rupees he gave me and then we took the train to uh, chennai and we were received i was i was i mean it is was very 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 warm welcome i never wonderful. forget the incident wonderful it was wonderful nice. incident yeah uh, i mean after that uh, you know when you look at the journey as an athlete you you started another journey uh, your desire to learn uh, you know made you uh, you know do the nis nis course and you became a coach uh, so tell us a bit about your coaching journey also because it's very interesting because yes you could never go to the olympics as we spoke earlier but yes you did go to the olympics in sion yeah yeah you are right was at the same right. stadium <laughs> no 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 it is uh, this uh 88 olympics was in seoul not same stadium it was bigger stadium see olympic okay. stadium used to be always bigger bigger than this asian championship stadium maybe i think uh, maybe the same stadium they have modified that uh, they must have modified that uh, stadium i don't know i i don't remember that The so 75, there's 88, a lot of gap. 20, we say 80, 75, 80, 30 years gap. So okay. I, I just had my diploma course in NIS Patiala. 
and uh, uh, okay i got a second class or something then i, I was uh, invited for the one asian course international course at patiala four months course i was the only one who got selected for that course only foreign coaches came and it taught us it was really a useful coach useful uh, diploma course four months course all foreigners uh, even our uh, uh, cm mutaya kenny boson and jagmohan singh and saini they also took the class they are appreciated all the foreigners they are appreciate our boson and uh, this uh, can jagmohan singh and all so they are very good coaches you, you are we are really missing like this good coaches you have you are all lucky to have such a very good coaches very knowledgeable coaches especially kenny kenny boson they used to appreciate he is throws he used to take the uh, he used to take throws they, they they were all very happy all in japanese chinese they were all there uh, for four months course then again then uh, after finishing that course i was uh, sent to germany to take the uh, junior team for uh, 40 days training germany we went and uh, myself and uh, uh, suresh babu we both were coaches of the, uh, that junior team we had about 40 45 days there in germany actually we learned a lot of things there really from the coach there because in the foreign coach only in the german coach only gave a training to the, our indian athletes we just looked up to them that's all we just supervised so we learned we learned many things from the foreign coaches and uh, again then we, be, we came back to india after 45 days we were nominated myself suresh, suresh babu was chief even coach for spin uh, jumps and i was nominated as uh, chief chief event coach for spin and hurdles and one jagraj singh was there he was throws and middle long descent one uh, joginder singh was there. so four national coaches not not one coach then not one chief coach the time was that lodge was not there, there that system was entirely different it was a chief and chief event coach there were four national coaches sprinter uh, sprinter saddles jumps throws and middle and longs there, there were four national coaches so i i i was i was put on the uh, sprinter and hurdles coach so the training was going on <clears throat> then again 88 was there there was a big fight you know uh, at least i got an opportunity to go to seoul olympics because i missed uh, early run when i was an athlete in the 80 moscow olympics i did to compensate that uh, i got I, i got this opportunity to go to seoul olympics as a coach of the team uh, it was also decided at the last moment because uh, at that time suresh kalmadi was the president he didn't agree for that to send the team at the we have only four, five members six members team that is the only team qualified uh, for the olympics no 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 other uh, male male event has qualified for 88 seoul olympics this is only four five five girls this is kuti usa uh, vandana rao ashwini nachappa shaini wilson messi messi kutan and vandana shanba these are the six were there and i was a coach of the team and nambiar was there nambiar was a personal coach of usa so we we both are coaches uh, and we accompanied there the ceo what what happened and you must have read in the paper and the selecting the na- relay team relay team we had a very tough time there actually we have decided here only vandana rao will run the relay <coughs> and usha will run only 400 meter hurdles so what happened there after reaching this nambiar and usha so i am sorry to this i am not discrediting them i, I am just explaining what happened before the seoul uh, seoul olympics they started fighting that uh, usha will run instead of vandana rao i said why see we have already decided only vandana rao will run why usha again you are fighting uh, nambiar we, uh, so unfortunately we both are we both are roommates in seoul i said but nambiar every day used to fight with <laughs> this uh, chief demission on um, kp singh dev was on mp congress mp he was chief demission uh, see we had to decide, decide the team we had to give the entry final entry so every every day we used to have meeting with him and uh, usha nambiar used to attend the meeting and i 
I told sir, Vandana Rao is better than the Usha, now present condition. Present condition. I am not saying Usha, Usha is unfit. But present condition, currently, she is not fit. Let her, let her run 400 meters at let her concentrate in the 400 meters at her own event. Why she want, why she is interested in 400 meters relay, 400 meters relay, which is not correct. You know, we have already given the entry, and only thing, final entry, we have confirmation entry, we have to give. Then uh, Nampia was fighting. No, no, Usha should run. Usha was uh, fighting. No, Usha, I should run the relay. Then uh, in the meantime, the Suresh, Suresh Kalmadi came, came to meet me in the village. <clears throat> he called me. We sat together in the ground. Then what Johnson? What is what is wrong with Usha? Why, 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 why you are not putting in Usha? What's the problem? She's okay. We you are we you are avoiding PT Usha, sir. I am not avoiding. See, we both are railways. She is also from railways. I am also from railways. It is matter of country prestige. It's, it's, we are representing the countries. We are not we are not representing for railways. This is a national prestige. We are ambassador for the country. We have to do something good in the Olympics. So he has then he was convinced. He said, okay, whatever you are coach, you decide. He went off. Then again they were fighting. <clears throat> the same night. See, after two days, we had to give the confirmation entry. Still, they were fighting, and for one, one, then I told the chief division, sir, one condition I will put. If Usha qualify for the next round, in the 400 meter hurdles, I will put her in relay. That means it shows that she is fit. Am I right? Then, unfortunately, what happened? See, she was eliminated in the first round itself, the 400 hurdles. Then I said, okay, then Pandana Rao is confirmed. Then same night, these both were coming to our ship division. Again, they were fighting. See, here they have agreed this precondition. This, if, we, if, we, if she qualifies for the second round, let her run the relay. But she has not qualified. She was eliminated in the first round. But still, even they were fighting. Both were fighting for relay. Then I said, no, 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 sir. What you have decided earlier, we have to follow that. Then Usha started crying, really. And I'm really sorry to say this. She started crying. Uh, visibly, visibly, she was crying. Then I said, uh, sir, it is not correct. She has already run. She has um, already won the 84 Last Challenges Olympics. And relay also she has run. So what way she is going to help by running the relay? See, we are not going to get the medal. So why is his particular about running relay? I don't understand, sir. So kindly just convince her. Then again started crying, crying, crying. In only we three of us, three of us, only myself, um, Nambiar and Usha, and three of us with the chip dimension. Nobody else. Then ultimately this chip dimension told Nambiar, no, no, what he is a team coach. Nanasain is a team coach. Whatever he says, that is accepted to me. Accept to me. <clears throat> so he has agreed. Then Nambiar uh, again uh, Usa started crying and uh, Chef Dimson told, Tomorrow there is a flight, Nambiar. I uh, you just can go back tomorrow morning. There is a flight. I'll be your ticket. Then I don't understand. Then I felt very sorry for Usa. I don't know why she was fighting for nothing. See, he, he had a, any chance to win the medal in 400 relay, it's okay, really okay. No chance. Eh? Even the first round itself, we were eliminated. I'm very sorry to say this. First round itself, we were eliminated. Uh, so for the for such a thing, he was she was fighting and Nambiar also was fighting. See, Nambiar should have advised her. You see, fight for the to run the relay. She has such a uh, 84 Los Angeles, he came just uh, last. Uh, Medals, bronze medal by one hundred second, but he wants to run relay, which, which the, he has got. The, the, which has the got real, reason, re, real reason we may not really know, but I got two of your old friends here who are saying hello to you. Argovind Singh Sandhu sir is saying oh, hello to you okay. all the way from USA. He's tuning in. Uh, unfortunately, he's tuning in at the end of the interview. And uh, Mr. J S Malhotra, uh, okay, he is okay. also saying hello to you. He said, uh, yeah. good, to see, uh, good to see you after a long time. And Hargovind Singh Sandhu sir is saying, great sprinter and great personality of athletics. So, 
so they are all tuned in when i'm going to ask you the last question my last question is this that uh, if you want to give any uh, final advice what are the few key things uh, you know advice you want to give to any future athletes uh, you know who want to become a sprinter like you see <clears throat> totally athletics you take athletics athletics is a more popular sport in the world even the olympics they were when other uh, discipline was started when it was going on people were expecting when the track and field will start that is, that is the glamorous even you know this track and field this uh, european and american they are doing very well in track and field and people also very much interested to watch this track and field so what i'm trying to say this juniors please take up this athletics athletics actually it is not very easy to come up to uh, uh, achieve in the international level track and only this asian league in asian level also the sprint event is very tough now it is gone up chinese and japanese are doing very well in the olympics our uh, indians are nowhere even the they were not even called for the camp national camp they were they, they, they are being omitted omitted from the camp i don't know I, i i don't understand why it is so what what i'm trying to tell is this we have to search for the talent for sprint event uh, more on south su- southern southern states they can consider uh, uh, junior level uh, sprinters see uh, catch them young and train them soon so it is the policy we, sh- we should make it to 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 produce more number of sprinters and outstanding sprinters if you want you must have some long term plan it is not a, a, a it is not a you know uh at the uh, instant sambar instant idli it, it is you, you must have long if you don't have a long term plan you, you can't do anything in sprint event because in sprint event is not a technical event that's i agree we are doing well even in world this uh, para olympics we are doing well in athletics that too only in technical event not not, not in track event uh, see the uh, javelin throw and high jump and uh, so this is all is all technical event but in track event we have miserably failed so but track uh, to uh, train the track event uh, this our climatic condition is very drawback you know uh, comparatively to europe and uh, western countries this is uh, as, as we said hot water hottest day for climate It's even india also the same so not only south in summer and all you can train in patiala such a very hot hot weather so what i am trying to do is you just uh, make them training in all the uh, ir altitude places wherever it is available in summer summer season and more number of competition they, there, there should be some exposure for them. more number of the exposures more exposures to the competitors the international level see when we went to bangkok kashin games we went straight away from patiala to bangkok no exposure no we had no competition anywhere straight away we took part in the asian games but we, we could win eight gold medals till now that is that is a, a, a biggest that is the largest medals medal winning in athletics eight gold medals we won in athletics alone it, it was in only first asian games Uh, 1951 they won uh, 10 gold medals or 11 gold medals after that only 78 bangkok we won eight gold medals after even after that in the delhi asian games we could win only four gold medals in athletics it is even though even though it is in uh, home soil we could not achieve much in athletics so sprinters i am telling uh, again and again it is very difficult this is, nowadays the sprint standard is gone up like anything in asia so better the sprinters like my milka singh said the, the 100 meter sprinters should, should take up the 400 meters this advice it is not possible to win the medal in the asian games really until unless we train from childhood if you are until unless you are given proper training from childhood it is not possible to win the medal in sprint event in the asian games in the com- in the, in the forth, forthcoming asian games it is not possible so what i am advising the sprinters who are doing well now please switch over to 400 meters only thing you have basic speed 
only you have to train some endurance you have to uh, develop your endurance work that that uh, quality that is the only thing very easy to qualify for the finals also the asian games in 100 meters even you can reach the finals if you qualify for 100 meters in the asian games it is so tough now really i, I am feeling very sorry for the sprinters i, I am advising you to take this uh, jagdish singh or uh, amit uh, what you said amit yeah amit Ani, yeah, amit prakash uh, amit amit prakash i am telling you all i am advising you please don't take up the 100 meters because they are also the federation also not interested in 100 meters they are not calling you for the even the camp so better you take up the 400 meters so switch over to 400 meters so you train in 400 meters, you try try for your luck is 400 meters okay. okay fine it's been a pleasure talking to you and uh, you know lot of motivation lot of stories from you also uh, and i really thank you for coming on to my uh, show uh, and talking to our audience out here uh thank you very much once again please be in the studio i'll just thank my audience thank you i i i must thank uh, rajesh for uh, giving having given me the good opportunity to talk to people uh i really thank once again this all india runners motivation which is doing very very good job by organizing such interviews from the outstanding people uh it is an opportunity for the people who have not seen me for the long years is an opportunity for them to be, see my face because i have no opportunity so at least you gave me the opportunity to expose my interview and my experience share my experience along with you so really i must thank you this all india runners motivation again and again thank you all thank you very much thank you Good thank night. you rajesh Good night. Yeah, please be in the studio so i'll come back to you okay okay so thank you very much it's a, it's a pleasure uh, hearing the story of a champion uh, i can't imagine that we have not actually won, you know nobody has able to achieve uh, even after so many years after 1978 let's hope and pray that you know we will be able to uh, bring more glory in sprinting uh, like uh, you know like our sir and uh, thank you very much for all tuning in i will uh, get back to you with the schedule for the next interview uh, till then uh, good evening and good night from my side thank you very much bye